Hey everyone, Reminex here, and you guys are going to see that I brought some interesting uh, images up here. I'm going to take myself off the screen for a second, and you're just going to see me disappear. Uh, and the main reason why we're going to do that is because you can get a better look at this awesome tool that msf.gg has for us here. So uh, I'm getting a lot of questions about comparing these two, and we're going to go ahead and do it right now. All right, so Captain America, Sam versus Red Guardian. They're both filling that need in the skill for the tank role. Uh, if you go to msf.gg, you can actually select uh, compare and you can break down the stats. We're going to get right into it right now. So we took a look and we set it as a three star, three red and a seven star, seven red to give some indication of actually what was happening uh, from a perspective of overall stat percentages. And the answer is probably going to surprise you. So who should you build up? Well, we've been talking about this for a little while. Well, we'll start with the obvious. They're both level five skirmishers and the side-by-side -side comparison really quickly just shows that a three red star, Captain Falcon with his passive T Ford gets 420K health. Whereas Red Guardian sits at 414k at seven red stars. So from a perspective of acquiring these characters and making them useful in the raids for yourself and which characters to choose, Sam wins handily. We're going to talk about something else that I find interesting very here uh, here. More importantly is the fact that there is the block chance and the fact that Sam has the native deflects and will give them to his team very frequently. And more importantly, you're going to be talking about the block amount. Sam gets a little bit more. All right, when looking at a three red star, you're going to see that some of the other stats are a little bit lower, but realistically, Sam is a different type of tank. He's faster. He'll apply, he'll add energy to his team and his damage stat. When looking at the abilities, when you're looking at the actual abilities here, okay, you'll see that there are some very specific similarities. All right. So they're both have a decent amount of uh, damage from that perspective. 500% damage, 450% damage. So they're both have a decent amount of damage, but where this is more of a control element, this is just raw damage and speed up for the entire team. So the, the thing about this is the skill characters that have had the highest value as of late have had really, really high cooldowns. Cough, cough, Kestrel. So this right here in a side-by-side -side comparison should tell you where Captain America Sam should sit. All right, we're going to go right into it. We're going to talk a little bit about some things that are happening in game. I want to I want to kind of break some stuff down for you guys might have heard that there's some discrepancies. Um, so let's show you guys right away. All right, I'm back. All right, we're going to start with uh, Captain America Sam here. Okay, and we're going to go right into this here. And I want to take a look at something that's a little bit different. All right, we're going to talk about the passive. Okay. All right, and so we've got him selected up here. I just pulled a fourth red star on him. We're going to take him back into the Doom Raids at this level. With this amount of health, I think he'll be fine. We'll compare him in a moment to my Red Guardian. All right, so if we take a look. There were some text issues in, in this. It looks like there is... Um, that the, that the text on msf.gg is a little bit different. The msf.gg represents what's happening in the game. So just be prepared for it, that there is a, uh, there, there, there's a, the way the text is written inside of the abilities isn't applying the way it is. Go to msf.gg for all your needs. And if you guys are there frequently enough, considering uh, signing up for the Patreon, they're uh, amazing guys and do amazing work for the community. That being said, uh, will we take a look at my 
Current investment level, I do not have a seven red star red guardian. I have a G15 red guardian. Who has just a little bit more health than the Falcon does at four star without G13 and G14. So what am I trading off? Well, just the offense up and defense on, on spawn, but he's getting the team to flex and is phenomenal in that regard. Captain Sam, I recommend the offers. You guys will see in my link below over here. You can save some money with Amazon. It's still up in the store. We're gonna have this loaded tonight. And if you are feeling even luckier, there's a crazy seven red star offer. I went hard because I think this character is the future for what's coming up in content. We're starting to see these teams really being built towards raids for something potentially bigger coming. Stay tuned because uh, there's usually a reason behind power creep like this. Content's about to get a lot more difficult and it may not just be hidden behind the level cap and the gear. So far on the team, we were gonna talk about the ISOs just one more time for you guys. We made a little change and we had talked about how Sharon Carter was probably gonna wind up being a striker. She has solidified her role on the team, especially in the Doom node, being able to rewind the time and buy some time. Uh, and without the T4 for the ability block here, uh, you're definitely gonna wanna have um, the T4 for the ability block here. Remember, you don't have two turns unless you T4 it. So stay tuned. Uh, I did make that mistake earlier. I'm gonna upload some of that content here. These guys are already bursting through every node but the, but the Doom node. And this is when I had a single red star on Captain Sam. They are literally as built they're phenomenal and they are changing that and more importantly when i see maria hill's kit i see a potential plug and play scenario i do think that it may be uh interesting to see how they work with uh fury summons but you may not even be using him for the summons as much as you are for just spreading positive effects so the way that i see the final skill team looking at least for now is kestrel fury and the three secret Avengers because of their synergy. And so for ISOs, I do like Skirmisher on Sam because all of these abilities do interact with the enemy team and he is able to apply the actual, um, he is able to apply the actual uh, uh, vulnerable status so you can get the extra attacks and then you can rewind time uh, with, with um, Sharon Carter. Finally, this is the, the most important thing here. We're going to be testing out some more stuff with Kestrel to find out what she's best at here. Same thing with Fury. This team is going to be a little bit in flux, but I do think I prefer Skirmisher and Striker on Sam and Sharon. There might be some additional options because of what he does with the speed up. Uh, and more importantly, what he does if the five, I saw five blue unlock, but it's already just a crazy trek through trying to get the RNG on the blue gear that I just don't want you guys to make those recommendations until I start bringing this team up and displaying them in the content. So if you already built Red Guardian and you already have a team there, I get it. If you've already built up your entire roster for skill, I understand. I did the same thing. There aren't many of us um, who didn't feel like they had to do this trying to figure out stuff for the community. And so this, this is a great team and a great catch-up mechanic, but not so great for those of us who G15 nearly our entire skill roster trying to make something work. Remember, I do things that so you don't have to. I'm super psyched about this team for the community, but the Krakens are crying some pretty hefty tears with the amount of investment they had before a really reliable team showed up to help us with the, with the Doom Raids. I just hope it's not too late to get some help from a bio character very soon, please. With sugar on top. No, I'm not joking, we, we need help. Talk to you soon.